Oh, hey, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. I know it's been a little while. Very special day, actually. I was just writing a quick review on this amazing piece that I just received in. And I'm going to do something a little unorthodox. Um, usually we have somebody, you know, holding the camera and I'm talking to it. I'm going to hold the camera because I want you to really get a a very, very close look at what I have on my desk. I was very lucky enough to receive these particular prototypes from Barry Eldridge over at Factory Entertainment. And this is part of their evolution line, but um, it is, of course, the breathers. Um, one of them from Thunderball and the other one from Die Another Day. And I've got to tell you, these are absolutely amazing. You know, I have, I would say, most if not all the pieces from Factory Entertainment. I think the only piece I don't have is the uh, uh, the Spectre ring, but everything else has been a very high quality. I really enjoy them, and I think uh, they're becoming more and more limited. I mean, good luck for those trying to find a signature edition of the Golden Gun. These, I think, are going to be amongst the most coveted pieces. I know it's going to be a very limited edition. The pre-sales are very brisk on it right now. They are accepting pre-orders for these, but um, uh, we were lucky enough to have sent these. These are the only ones in existence right now, and these are the prototypes of these particular pieces. So we literally have to send them back in three days, which is kind of why I'm doing this guerrilla warfare type of uh, video. As you can see, as usual, an amazing display and case. Love the mirrored bottom so you could see all the different pieces. You know, as usual, the, uh, the plexiglass, you know, type of stand is so well engineered. I mean, it just kind of um, encases and, and, and folds around the particular pieces. You can kind of remove everything and play with it appropriately because these do have, as I call them, uh, very high play value, very high cool factor. So imagine sitting on the desk, um, whether it's your office like this or at home or within your collection. I always think Factory Entertainment does an amazing job in the display, but this one's particularly cool. It's got this what I call cascade um, type of uh, enclave going to it where, you know, it's not just two things barreled up. It's, you know, the evolution of the top piece um, and, of course, the signature piece from uh, what I consider a signature piece from Thunderball. By the way, Thunderball is one of my favorite movies. I mean, everybody asks me, what's your favorite Bond movie? Thunderball is definitely one of them. Die Another Day, not amongst one of my favorites, but it's got so many cool pieces. I mean, when this, when they took this out and, you know, kind of goes trailing off, you know, down to the water, I almost cried because um, the loss of a really good prop. Let's start taking a look at these, though. And I don't think video is going to do you justice, but... You know, you could see the detail um, of the original prop with a little tiny escape valve in here. Something that um, some of the uh, replica pieces that you've seen in the past of this piece have not had. Now, the reality is, is these have a special factor because of their accuracy. But on top of that, they have another special factor. And that these were made for and by Bond fans. So, Jeff and Pete... Um, who a lot of people know from AJB and quite, quite frankly just from the Bond community alone, um, you know, embarked on a journey to create, you know, this particular piece, uh, gosh, oh, quite a long time ago, a year or plus more. And Pete had a uh, some blueprints from a collection that he received, uh, gave those blueprints to Jeff, and Jeff meticulously recreated all of the details and all the pieces, really making this the first accurate breather. And now I've got to tell you something. I mean, I, look, I own the SED Studio one, the Rylo one, etc. But this one has a certain accuracy to it all of itself from, you know, the small details um, all the way through to the different colorings and pieces. Um, just really creates an amazing piece. And this passion, this journey that we see so many Bond fans go on um, was noticed by Factory Entertainment. And you know, this licensed group really engaged these two very, very, you know, um, special fans to create a prototype. And from that prototype, we now have the opportunity to own this amazing piece. And for those who don't know Jeff or Mini Jeff, as he's known as, um, you know, as a huge amount of passion, a huge amount of heart, as uh, attention to detail, his displays, his recreations of these is really, it's an art of love. Um, it's not a business for him. I mean, really, his, his friends have been the benefactor of that, but he has just such a passion. He has a quick wit, a rapier wit, I would even say, in the Bond community, but comes with that is, is a real ingrained passion for everything Bond. 
Pete, for those who know Pete, um, another big-hearted gentleman who is not only a Bond fan, but a protector of the brand. Um, I consider him that. Um, really great guy, does charities for, you know, animal shelters, has a, has a love of dogs, and, you know, puts his all behind this as, as well. And the two of them just really have put a very lively uh, persona to the Bond fandom. Now they're giving something back by partnering with Factor Entertainment to create this. And I, I dare say, I mean, with a limited edition of, you know, under 500, possibly even 400, I know these are going to go very quickly. Um, I myself put an order in uh, before I receive these, but quite frankly, I may order a second one just as, I don't know, backup investment. I typically don't do that, but I think these are going to be coveted pieces. By the way, if I could be so bold as to do this, um, I want to show you kind of an additional cool factor with this. So these actually come apart. You can unscrew them like so. And you've got all the little detailed pieces, you know, just like you would imagine Bond would do if he had to refill his particular canisters. So this has got major, major, major play factor, um, as I call it. In fact, if that wouldn't be enough, you can also do it with the uh, Die Another Day piece. This comes off, and this one really looks like, um, gosh, you know, look at that. Look at that detail. A canister that you could breathe from. You could really put some oxygen in there, etc. And I just think it, it sets up the, uh, the piece so beautifully, so well. Um, these are available right now for pre-order. The reason I have kind of a low budget video is because I wanted to get this up as quickly as possible. I don't think people appreciate it just seeing pictures, the cool factor with this, but it's one of those absolute pieces. You want to go to Factory Entertainment um, website. We'll have it listed actually on this video and go there, pre-order this. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's going to be hard pressed for me to put this back into the box to send back to Barry, but since it's his only prototype, I want to be respectful. Uh, as usual, it's got the really nice placard here, and it says uh, limited edition of 500. They mean it when they say it. It could be even less. So as many orders as they get for this, that's what they're going to fulfill, and then no more. So it's not going to be like, oh, knock, 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 Barry, Factory Entertainment, do you have any more? Sorry, no play. Um, so you want to get on this very quickly. This has been David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience for a quick, ugly video, but a beautiful piece. We'll talk to you soon.